So before I jump into this video, I kind of want to address what your guys are going to be seeing in this video. Things may seem a little different than my usual content on this channel. It's because I'm kind of experimenting right now with a new editing software. I was originally going to switch to Final Cut. I've been using a program that, uh, let's just say I shouldn't be using, but I use it anyway. And I was using that for years and years and years. I kind of got sort of accustomed to it. And I thought like, hey, let's switch to Final Cut. Then I also thought... Hey, I'm not going to be able to use Final Cut on my PC, and I love editing videos on my PC because I literally have a 3080, and I love hitting my mic. So I also thought about DaVinci Resolve, and that's what this video right now is being edited with. I tried this a while ago, and I didn't necessarily get the hang of it, but I have recently learned a lot of new things with it, and I'm giving it another shot. And once I came back things seem a lot easier to deal with. So I'm switching to Resolve. This is going to be kind of a transition. I don't know how much you guys are actually going to notice in your end because I found ways to bring my fonts into Resolve and all my subtitles and stuff like that should look exactly the same for the most part. So that's always good. It's nice finding out different cool things you can do. Yeah. I'm excited. Regardless, let's actually jump into the actual video. So today we're going to be talking about Zombies Chronicles. And this video is going to be kind of controversial uh, because I personally think that Zombies Chronicles is a flawed DLC. And I'm going to explain in this video. Let's jump straight into it. So I kind of want to preface this by saying I enjoy Zombies Chronicles. I thought it added a lot more value to BO3. And it was really fun playing the old maps once again. And I thought that they did a pretty good job making them look better. And that in and of itself kind of ruined the maps in the long run. And I'm going to kind of explain why. Let's start with the World at War maps. Nocturne, Toden, Verrucht, and Shunanuma. Each and every one of these maps were remastered to basically look a billion times better compared to the original counterparts. And in my personal opinion, I think that's the reason why these maps don't look as good in my opinion. I felt that with Zombies Chronicles, a lot of the atmosphere that the guys know in Noct, Verrucked, and Shinonuma got completely thrown out the window. That dark and gritty atmosphere just didn't do it for me as much in BO3. And I felt like the sound design, in my opinion, also had a step back. It was toned down and it wasn't as intense and as sort of spooky as the original games. And this in particular is the reason why I don't enjoy Chronicles as much as other people do. Well, yes, these maps didn't necessarily change in gameplay design because they play pretty much the same as the originals with obvious changes due to BO3's engine. The maps themselves in my opinion, didn't translate as well into BO3 as they did in their original counterparts. Something about BO3 just doesn't look as spooky as World at War, and it's not able to capture that atmosphere as much with the way Treyarch designed them. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of BO3 workshop maps that look really spooky, but I feel like Treyarch didn't necessarily capture what their original vision was. And this also can be seen on Kino der Toten as well. I felt like this map was probably one of the main ones that really got affected by this. They removed the swastikas throughout the map, which kind of ruined some of the atmosphere. And I felt like a lot of the wall textures and stuff like that were too bright and colorful. What I like so much about the original Kino der Toten is the contrast between you being inside the theater and you going outside of the theater. I felt like there was kind of a contrast that you don't necessarily see in the BO3 version that just felt like a more distinctive sort of you're going into a different area sort of thing. The map in BO3 was completely colorful to the brim, and in the original, the more colorful area was going outside. This isn't the biggest deal at the end of the day, but I just felt like this kind of tainted some of the experience I had with Zombies Chronicles in comparison to their original counterparts. And I'll also say Ascension did get affected by this as well. In the original version, you spawn in black and white. In the new version, it was kind of a sepia, sort of one color was still there, but the other colors were muted. It wasn't completely black and white, which kind of puzzled me because, I mean, the characters literally still bring up that the freaking game is in black and white and it's not in black and white. So that, in my opinion, kind of hurt the map as well. Though I will say the final three in this pack 
Shangri-La Moon and Origins did benefit from these remasters. Shangri-La looks absolutely gorgeous on this map, and Moon in general originally was a really dark and desolate and muted sort of map. It really wasn't very visually appealing, and what they did in the remaster just, it looks so much better. This is one of those instances that I think Zombies Chronicles nailed Moon. The original looked like crap. In Origins, this was essentially the same look as BO2, except just looked ridiculously better. Though I wouldn't say gameplay-wise it was as good, because a lot of the exploits, like, you know, skipping the staff placing step and just going down and placing your fire staff over and over, that was patched, and that couldn't be done anymore. Which I felt like that was kind of inferior to the original. And on top of that, with all the maps, you have gobble gums and all this stuff that in my opinion did not fit the original maps and kind of did ruin the fun a little bit in my opinion so really the biggest issue with zombies chronicles to me is atmosphere i felt like all the maps were downgraded from their original counterparts i felt like they didn't necessarily do them justice and they went overboard with the colors and the sort of volumetric tone that they did a lot in bo3 sure it may look visually stunning but it doesn't capture that same feeling that they were originally going for. So with that said, I don't think Zombies Chronicles did the old maps justice in the best way it could have, and lacked a lot of the things that made the original maps the way they were. But all in all, I enjoy Zombies Chronicles for what it is, I just don't think it's perfect. And I think it's very flawed in a lot of the design decisions that Treyarch decided to do. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did and you want to see some more videos on the channel. Make sure to drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you guys want to get notified for other content on this channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications to never miss another video when I upload it. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Zombies Chronicles was flawed, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.